Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a Java project on event management system. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java IDE. You can choose any IDE of your choice and a swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here is my main method. I am passing an object of event class. It is a GUI form. So to create one you need to go over here in the project package. Click on new. Click on swing UI designer and then click on GUI form. Two files will be generated. The .java file is for the code and the .form file for the UI. Let's see our UI first. This is my panel. I have named it as event panel and provided few margins over here. These are the text fields which are named as name, description, time and duration respectively. This is the J panel. I have named it as date event and do not forget to uh, change this layout as border layout. We will be utilizing this panel to add the calendar. These are the J buttons over here. This is the J table and do not forget to add the J table under the J scroll pane. These all are the J labels over here. Okay, to add the functionality to the button, right click onto the button, then choose this option create listener. Some code will be generated in the .java file. This is our .java file. This is the class, event class and uh, these fields will be generated automatically once you design the panel. This is an object of uh, jdate chooser class and this is an object of jframe class. So in our constructor, this is the constructor, we'll be calling this methods. These are the methods which we'll be calling by this object event f so that whenever we create the object of event class this form appears onto the screen okay and uh, this is the panel with the border layout so we'll be adding this is the method and we'll be providing the object of date chooser over here in the IntelliJ IDE you need to add this uh, uh, you need to add the calendar this way otherwise in other IDs you can simply add the jar file and uh, the options for adding the calendar will appear over here in this palette move on to the uh, add record button ok over here add event button uh, which is named as add record so we are checking if the fields are null or not ok if the fields are null then this line will run j option pane which is the class and we will be using the show message dialog uh, method and passing the message please fill all fields to add record ok if uh, any uh, text fields is null if they are not then uh, this is the query of type string uh, stored in the, into this variable sql insert into event this is the table name and these are the attributes over here and we'll be using prepare statement to run the query so this is the syntax for it now we'll build the connection this way and pass the url the root and the password uh, in the parameters and then uh, calling this method prepare statement to execute the query then we'll be formatting the date uh, this way date format dot get date instance and uh, we'll be providing this date chooser over here it will extract the uh, date uh, the day and the month uh, in a simple format okay and it will be stored into this variable otherwise date chooser dot get date extracts the time and the seconds as well okay so we don't want that then we'll be using this statement and we'll be calling this set string method and uh, we, uh, it takes two parameters the column index and the data so at, in the first column we'll be storing the name in the second the description the third the time in the fourth the duration and at the fifth uh, index the column will be storing the date okay then finally we'll call execute update and pop up a message event added successfully then uh, empty all the text fields and uh, setting this calendar to null then finally we are catching exception if there is any and uh, changing the uh, changing our jtable data using this method
update uh, now uh, about the update record button so what we are doing here is uh, uh, simply extracting the date and formatting it and storing into this variable and running this particular query update event and we'll be setting the description the duration the time and the date where event name okay uh, under the event name uh, added by the user over here it will update the items then we'll build the connection and run the query with the prepared statement and then executing update popping up the message event updated successfully and then catching exception if there is any and then finally calling this table data method now about the add mouse listener uh, okay to add a mouse listener you need to go over here in the UI click on to the table over here right click on to the table go to create listener and choose the option mouse listener so what it basically does that uh, uh, what we want to do is extract this particular row rows data so when user selects a particular row let's say the second row we want the square and this color green data to be extracted and then we can populate the data uh, populate these text fields with that data so we'll be doing that so uh, we'll be using this get model method and storing into this variable dm of type default table model uh, as we want to uh, as we want to use this method get value at which requires the index row uh, the uh, row index and the column index okay uh, row index we can get from the table dot get selected row it results uh, returns an integer we can store it over here and we can pass it in this method the and uh, we can pass uh, this manually the column index at the zeroth position we will be storing the name okay so we'll be converting it into string and st uh, setting this name text field to this output okay this particular output similarly we'll be doing this for description time and duration as well okay uh, choose the column index uh, accordingly so at the first place is description the second is time and the third is duration now let's uh, see this method table data what it does that it extracts the uh, complete data select all from event is this is the table name it extracts all the data from the database then uh, first build the connection and uh, using this result set to, ex uh, to execute the query okay and uh, this is the set model method which we'll be calling um, and uh, this is the method which I have created on my own but instead of this you can use dbutils dot uh, uh, result set to table model method and pass your result set and it will work in the same way okay then catch exception if there is any and uh, okay this is it this is my uh, build table model method and it's exactly the same as uh, the result set to table model method okay okay so this is it let's run our program uh, let's click on to this entry okay it extracts the event name the description the time and the duration okay now if we want to add an uh, add an event we can simply okay let's uh, say price distribution or quiz okay let's say science quiz um science quiz and uh, description science quiz okay at 11 30 it will be of one hour and even date is 8th of september okay we can add it event added successfully you can see it over here that it it has been added if you want to update uh, something let's say duration which is of uh, 1.5 hours 
ओके सो ओके लेट्स अपडेटेड नल पॉइंट वन सेकेंड वी हैव टू सिलेक्ट दी इवेंट डेट एज वेल ओके लेट्स से वन आर थर्टी मिनट्स इवेंट अपडेटेड सक्सेसफुली ओके इट गॉट अपडेटेड ओके दी प्रोग्राम इज़ वर्किंग फाइन आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड द वर्किंग ऑफ द कोड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल फॉर मोर इंटरेस्टिंग प्रोजेक्ट आइडियाज़